Hey yo people, well going. welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub and today I'm going to be looking at SMB Sync 2 and this app is one that allows you to copy pictures from your Android device, I'm not sure if it's for iOS as well, so copy pictures from your mobile device to your SMB server. So for me, I'm going to be using Open Media Vault. I will be showing how to install Open Media Vault on the Raspberry Pi 5 later on, but just before I do that, I wanted to do some research around these kinds of things because this is something I might use full time later on. So SMB Sync 2, I will put the link in the description as to where you can go ahead and download this i don't think it's on the play store but i mean i don't remember let's open it and see what we can do so when i open smb sync 2 it's going to ask for internal storage permissions i'm going to click ok it's then asking for me to give it permission to use my music my audio my pictures my video so on and so forth i'm going to click allow on that one i'm going to click allow for notifications because i want it to tell me when something has started or finished or there's an error on the main page it says press add button to create new sync task now what that means at the bottom of the screen there's a tiny green plus. I'm going to click on that and it's going to allow me to put in a few details here so that I can actually sync up to my Open Media Vault server in my basement. First and foremost, it's asking for a sync task name. I'm going to click in that box there and I'm going to put SMB sync to test because I might create more tests later on. And the sync type. Now on the sync type, it has quite a few options. It has mirror, it has copy, it has move, and it has archive. Let me quickly try and explain what these are or what they should mean in general computing terms. Under mirror, what that means, it will simply mirror every single thing you have in a specific directory. So for example, let's say you have 10 files in a directory. When you mirror that directory, it's gonna copy all those 10 files over. When you create new files and you mirror again, it should only copy over the new stuff. That's what it means. Copy means that it should essentially copy what you have highlighted from drive A to drive B. But to be fair, that's very, very similar to mirror because if you choose to copy an entire folder, it's exactly the same thing as mirroring. Moving is different. Moving is taking it away from location A and putting it at location B and it is no longer in location A. And finally, we have archive. Archive is a bit of an interesting one. It's, it's, still, it's still mirroring or copying, but it's mirroring or copying Typically in IT spaces, archive is a way for you to mirror or copy the entire folder or drive and it normally zips the file or keeps it in a secure compressed way so that if something were to happen, you can always go back and unarchive it or unzip the file and, and restore everything that you had. So that's what that does. I'm going to leave mine as copy for now. That's the default one. And I think that's probably the one I'm going to use. The next uh, section is master folder, but well, this is for source. The source is where the files are coming from. From. So in my case, it's going to be from my mobile device and the destination, which is the second option, is going to be where it's going to. So I'm going to choose source there. It says internal storage on the first one. That's perfectly fine because it's coming from my mobile phone's internal storage. Mount point, leave it as a default. You can't change it anyway. And from here, I'm going to click on where it says list directories at the very bottom. And from here, you can choose which folder you want to back up. For me, I know I want to do my DCIM folder because for Android and for most cameras as well, as soon as you take a picture on the camera or on the mobile phone, it goes straight to a folder called DCIM. I actually don't know what this stands for. I never really checked. And under the DCIM folder, I'm going to go to where it says camera. And what I want to happen is every single time I take a picture or record a video, it's going to go to that location. So I want to back up everything in that location. I'm going to click select and that's it. I'm done for choosing the source folder. I'm going to click save. It's going to take me back. On the destination folder, it's going to be slightly different. It's not going to be internal storage at the top. It's going to be SMB server. So I'll click on the, the first option there, change it from internal storage to SMB server. That simply means server, message block server. I don't know why they added server again, to be fair. I'm going to click on that. It's not going to know exactly where this is at the moment. So you need to search SMB server. So I'm going to click on search there. It should come up with my server. I think my IP address is 192.168.0.149 because I've done it quite a few times. It might find it by IP address or it also might find it by the name of the actual server. So for me, it found it by IP address. So I'm going to click on the first one, well, the only one that comes up here, 192.168.0.149. I'm going to click on that and that gives me that server as the thing it needs to send to. On the SMB protocol, I'm going to leave it as use SMB 2.14. That's the latest version that this can use. I'm not going to trouble that in any way. Under that, I'm going to go down to where it says list shares here. I'm going to click on list shares and at the very top it comes up with the name of my open media vault server it's called mini pc here and I, I named it that so whatever you name yours most cases it's probably going to be open media vault all lowercase all one word but i changed mine because i'm using a mini pc for this one and i'm also going to use a raspberry pi 5 for my next open media vault thing so i'm going to click on mini pc share here i'm going to click ok 
from there again, I need to find the directories or list the directories again. At the very bottom, it says list directories. Click on that. It's going to go and search all the files in my Open Media Vault thing. I've already created a folder just to do for this video. So I'm going to click on the first one that says 01 SMB Sync 2. This is where I want my files to be copied to. So whenever I run the script or run the program, it's going to take all the files from my DCIM folder or my camera folder and dump them here. I don't care what they are. You're just going to dump them here. I want to click select. It takes me back and I should be able to click save on here. I didn't choose any of the year, month or day options here because I don't think I need those. I'm going to click save. Now it says if source or destination are located on SMB server, which mine is, Set start sync only in specified Wi-Fi condition to con any AP. I'm guessing con any AP means connect to any access point. So I'm going to just click OK on there. If you have a look at the very bottom, it, it should change. Yeah, it did change. So con to AP change down here. You leave it as it is. I don't think I need to do anything else. So I'm going to click on OK. When I'm back on this folder here, nothing has started yet. Nothing has been done. There is an option to schedule a task and you should be able to schedule the task that you just created. I'm not going to do that right now because it's simply a case of pressing the plus button and selecting the task. What I am going to do is use my file explorer. Let me go back to my file explorer here. Let me go to my open media vault server over here. And then I'm going to go to 01 SMB Sync 2. So at the very top, you can see that folder says zero items. What I'm going to do now on this app, on the SMB Sync 2 app, I'm going to press that button on the right hand side there. And that button should then start copying files from my mobile phone to the SMB server. It's copying stuff over. As you can see at the top, it says 3% completed. I'm going to go back to my file explorer now. And what that should do, if I drag the top down to refresh it, ah, perfect. So one item has already been copied. That's probably a video because my speeds are quite decent. That's now completed. So if I drag down again, you should see two items. So what will happen, this will go through and it will copy every single file from my DCIM folder and inside of there, it goes to my camera folder. And even stuff I've deleted gets copied as well because Android doesn't truly really delete anything until you go ahead and clear your trash bin. Now I know that that works. I'm going to click cancel on here. I'm going to click OK to cancel. I'm going to go to where it says schedule and I'm going to try and schedule this action to take place. I click on plus and I'm going to do schedule name. This is going to be called, let's call this one daily backup. And from here, I'm going to enable schedule. I'm going to do every day. That's fine. Time of the day, I might do, let's say midnight. So let's say 11, oh no, midnight might be 23, 59. So a minute before midnight, execute all auto sync tasks. And the very final option at the bottom says, sync only starts while charging, which is perfect. So when I come home and I plug in my mobile phone after work and I leave it charging overnight, which I don't normally do to be fair, but it will start syncing at that time. To test that this works, as you can see at the top of my screen, it's 1.02 p.m. now. So I'm going to change mine, my task. So I'm going to change mine to 1.04. So if I go back up and I changed it to 13.04, let me go up to 04 quickly. 13.04, I'm going to click save. perfect as you saw there as soon as it went to 104 the backup started it started copying stuff this is absolutely perfect i have no idea why this isn't on the play store because this is a wonderful amazing app just as a quick recap what i did was i went to task and i created a task to back up pictures and videos from my dcim camera folder to my open media vault server and on the schedule, I tested to see if I could set a specific time for my schedule to start. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. In any case, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful and stay tuned for more apps.